Hey guys, this is White Wolf of Mega Masquerade again. Um, I, I literally just recorded the last, the first episode of The Walking Dead, so we're just continuing on from that. And yeah, so you already know what game we're playing. Let's go. Play. Continue. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. You turn your back for two seconds. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. Man, it's, it's okay not if like he disagrees movies. because he's you don't gonna fall die like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Yeah. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm oh, just glad we're getting no. this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family it's safe okay if and you won't forget thinks that inviting people he's in going is a to bigger die. threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Can't say anything about Megan, because they Sean, think I'm clummy clues. Thanks again for the rock. No problem, Lou. Oh, Couldn't leave you behind. For two seconds. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. If I leave, someone's going to get PO'd at me. Boop. Talk. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Oh. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Um. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. They're not. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can Don't I give murder you a piece me. Of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Mm-hmm. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I'll get my gun! I have to make a choice! Oh, he's gonna be so- Oh, 
What the? Ah, I'm sorry. Oh shoot! I'm just gonna rewind that. I got you. We're almost through. Get this tractor off of me! I'm sorry. Please help me, please. I'm not sure that I can. I'll try. Kenny, you're a douche! I'm sorry. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. Yes, I did! You douche! I'm sorry. Look at him. Sorry is no damn good. Please. I've tried. Just go. Get out and never come back. You know you're gonna have to shoot him in the brain. Let's go, man. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Uh oh, out of gas. Well. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Shut up, Duck. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No, he's not. Jeez. We're trapped. Because the truck's an idiot. And he got bitten anyways. Run. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I shut fucking up. Mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Um, excuse me. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! Aw, oh, don't get mad at her. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Uh... I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Yep. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He's not bitten. He wasn't bitten. Actually, he Hell, he was. wasn't. I'm lying. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. Shut we let some of the stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop you need your frickin' what pills. Do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. 
You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my life. Oh, Everyone shoot. I chose the, the wrong one. Out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. I will slap right your now, face. We're about to be okay, in here you're about to get backhanded. What the hell are you I talking just about? Hit my he's bitten. That hurt. That's how no. you turn. No, he's not, he's bitten. not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting Actually, him. He is. Ooh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It, Bro. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. So get your head. She's not my boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. No. Don't worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah. There's someone in there. It's oh. just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, you I'm just gave yourself up. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does... Then we shoot him. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Shut little up. Boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now! Oh my god. Him, this Kenny. Guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Uh-oh, Clummy Clue! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> uh oh, my leg! Crawl! Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. What? No! How did I- what? Oh, guys. I couldn't save her. I was too far away. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Did you not see that I was trying? I freaking clicked! I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! <sighs> that was- uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, Good, have a heart attack. No one likes you anyways. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin My family pills. works here. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. No. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. Uh, I'll work my don't way towards do it. it. Move back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. I For like now, Carly. get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Well, she's an now investigative those reporter. Pills. She kind of has to be. <laughs> Don't know when you're gonna run into them crazies. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Uh, 
Uh, Clementine, you still gotta pee? Hey there. Hi. Or did you pee your pants? So, oh, she looks so excited! It's here so we go. cute! Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. She has so much faith in him. <laughs> oh, that face. Do you have kids? Uh, no. no. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. Aw. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Maybe just a little bit. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? I yeah, hate it when adults don't give me straight answers. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Why can't I go to the store? Because... I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and... We didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. Aww. It's okay, we got a first aid kit here, Clement Clue. I'll find you a bandage. Okay, first aid kit. How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. Aww, it's okay. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. All better. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay. And now we can get the batteries from the remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. How's that heart attack coming, huh? Gosh, I hate him. Oh. Making weird. Try to get some rest, hun. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon and you put it in a pancake. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. What did I just pick up? Oh, soda. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? Close this enough. is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. 
I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. And it will I'll consist of me Sounds good. and either Lily or Carly. I'm hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. Well, um... What did I want to do? Oh, right. I wanted to give Carly the batteries, and it's gonna make me go around. Come on. Okay. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Now we only need one more! One more battery! No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> You're a funny dude. Um... I forgot what the remote was for. Shouldn't there be another battery somewhere? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. In, like, the office or whatever? anything? I know, you're not part of your family anymore. No. It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank Thanks. you. Don't worry about it. Well, I think we should probably just call it here. Ah. So that was a fun episode. Depressing episode. <laughs> ah. Just, you know, the usual. Remember that I love you all and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.